Hey everyone, we're back with the sales for Wednesday. Today's been a pretty interesting day, just a random mix of stuff. Just sold some jewelry, which is something I don't really dabble in much. And it was a pretty big sale, almost a hundred bucks. So I sold something that I almost threw away as well when we were going through the death piles. We were kind of moving into the new place and ended up selling for over a hundred. So you never know. Shipping will be a little bit heavy on that one, but I am glad it sold. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. My name is Cameron. Go by Cam. Flashback finds the channel. We buy stuff at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, so we can make some money online. Let's go over what's sold today. So, a Care Bear here. This is a thanks a lot bear. Brand new with tag, but I wouldn't really call it brand new. The tag is kind of rough. Um, it's got like one or two little marks on it. It's still sold for 22 shipped. want to say I got a little trash bag full of plush for, I think, $15 at a garage sale. There was like four of these little Care Bears. They all sold for like around 20 to 25 each. I think one may have gone a little higher. This might be the last one left. So that was one reason why I bought it was for those. And then we got a couple other oddball ones that sold for, I don't know, 10 to 20 bucks. We made a little bit of money. It wasn't great because it's not an older Care Bear, but it did sell okay. Sony Remote, a DVD one. This is not a DVD combo. This is just a DVD one. It sold for like 7 bucks and some change. It always sells, but not for a whole lot. Mortal Kombat for Xbox One. Sold for eight bucks and some change, I believe. For whatever reason, not a super desirable game, but maybe it's going to go up in price with the movie coming out. Uh, we sold Joe Walsh, the smoker you drink, the player you get. I just listed this one, and it sold for ten bucks. I listed a couple days ago. There were comps, and I'll tell you guys when I sell CDs, um, sometimes copying them is a little bit hard, and the reason is because. You'll see some selling for four and five bucks, but they're using a stock photo. If you see some that are selling regularly for four and five dollars, like multiple ones a month, and they're all a stock photo, I usually imagine that I can get anywhere for eight to ten if I actually take a photo of the item, show the disc, take a little bit of extra time. I can sometimes squeeze a few more bucks out of it. I think that's what happened with this one. So I'm not saying you should do that if it does take a little more time and it's not a huge dollar amount, but not using a stock photo in media can help you sell items at a higher price because I think people feel like they know what they're actually getting, so they're willing to pay some more. The Legacy of Stone Cold Steve Austin DVD. Paid a dollar for this, I think, and it sold for like $9 shipped, eight and some change. Not a whole lot, but did end up selling. We also sold Mad Dash for the Xbox. I had never seen this game. I paid two bucks for it because I thought it might be worth some. I had never seen it before. Got it while on vacation, didn't look it up. Ended up selling for like ten dollars and some change maybe eight dollars i don't even know not a whole lot definitely not one to pick up uh, but i hadn't seen it before so i grabbed it and then um, if it's sold for ten i guess that's not too bad we'll make a little bit of money sold for eight not really worth it and then jet moto 2 this came in a big playstation lot it sold for like seven bucks so those are kind of the smaller ones not so great we did sell an lg brand new bluetooth verizon headset this one paid four bucks it was brand new sold for twenty dollar ship it will go first class so that's a nice easy one to pack up what I'll do with these, people ask me, do you ship little things just in a bubble mailer like this? The answer is no. I would either bubble wrap it first and then put it in the bubble mailer or wrap a piece of cardboard around it and then put that in the bubble mailer. Yes, the cardboard will add a little weight, but it adds a little bit of protection. Sometimes these little plastic shells and stuff can break in shipping if something heavy lands on them. Harley Davidson shirt. This is Harley Davidson shirt. This is a long sleeve one. Forgot what size. It says like hog on there or something. It sold for 15 bucks shipped. Paid a dollar or two for that. Um, don't really spend a lot of time on clothes anymore, but happy to move out what we can. We did sell a Craftsman model number 1421410, little charger here. This one's old for 40 or 45, somewhere around there. Um, pretty easy to pack up and ship. It'll probably go in a padded flat rate. People ask me if I test every one. The answer is some of them I have batteries for because over the years I've kind of collected them and I'll hold them, make sure they charge. Others I do not. So I just assume that it will probably work if it's in good shape. And if I get a return, I'm kind of stuck with it. So, um, you know, obviously if it seems like it has a lot of physical damage or some issues, don't waste your time. But if it looks clean, I've had a lot of success selling them, but, you know, proceed at your own risk. Here is an, uh, this is an anthology of British and Irish folk songs. This is a three cd set i think it's missing one cd it's either three or four cd set it's missing one of the discs i got it from storage unit guy i took a best offer of 40 dollars the person's aware that it's missing a disc this probably goes for about 70 or 80 if it's complete it's a hundred and something brand new online so happy that it sold wish it had the other disc one of the things that we sold that you guys i mentioned that was i was going to throw away these are a bunch of reel to reels but they're 
basically ones that were pre-recorded you know by someone not professional ones so you can't really ship them out media mail and really you shouldn't sell them you know based on whatever they've recorded on there because um you know you don't have there's a copyright issue so i listed them as blanks and sold them in a big lot for 171 dollars shipped be careful guys you take some risk there someone could report you for a copyright thing i try not to show a bunch of the titles or whatever i just say a bunch of blanks selling them as is they sold for 171 shipped sometimes people want this stuff because they want to find old commercials and shows or events that were recorded on there that are not on you can't find them now so that's why sometimes people want to get that kind of stuff or maybe they just really like to collect them and see what's on there so that's what we have they went out for 171 it's two full paper boxes it's going to cost quite a bit to ship i'm going to imagine 40 plus to ship them all out maybe more i don't care though i was going to throw them away so even if i walk away with 70 or 80 bucks it'll be worth it and then lastly guys here's the jewelry item so this is a palome paloma palorma it's this gold necklace here it's not made of gold like gold tone i guess would be the right word i'm not a jewelry expert so those of you that are feel free to enlighten me but it's heavy this thing is just super heavy um got it from a 50 dollars jewelry buy from one of the guys i buy from he goes hey there's some good stuff in here which there was i sold one pin i think for 90 bucks as well and i have one more pin from there that should go for 50 plus and i took a best offer of 90 on this one it was listed at like 120 something so i felt like that was a fair price it's super heavy i think i listed it as 90 style or something like that maybe 80s i don't know I ended up selling for 90 bucks. Probably we'll just put it in the pad of flat rate because it's definitely over a pound. And um, we'll go ahead and get it out of here. So jewelry is something. There's a couple of categories I wish I would learn more in. Jewelry is one of them. Not only for the gold and silver content, which is really, you know, obviously you can make money off it if you find the right stuff and you know what you're looking for. Also, it's good to find some of Even the costume jewelry, some of it goes for great money. That one... Um, pen i told you about it had no gold no silver it was just a costume piece and it sold for 90 dollars shipped just for a little pin of like a um peas in a pot or whatever it was crazy that it was worth that much but that's what it was so that's everything i have for you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you with another clip of something sells today if not we'll jump into what sells on thursday take care hey everyone final sales from wednesday we had three more come through one is a pair of pumas uh ladies pumas here like a black and a pinkish color i think uh these sold for 30 bucks shipped 33 bucks took a best offer puma's not the best brand to sell shoe wise but i do end up making money on certain styles that look pretty cool or a good size or they're pretty good shape if i can get them for cheap enough sometimes they sell uh we sold a the london american label year by year 1960 must be other ones in this set but this one sold for nine bucks shipped not much but um, what i've been doing with my cds guys to ship them i used to bubble wrap them and put them in a bubble mailer but instead what i've been doing is taking some cardboard wrapping it around the cd then putting that in the bubble mailer and it doesn't really affect the shipping the weight wise it's still under a pound so the shipping's the same for media mail i think it gives them adequate protection and they don't have to use as much bubble wrap and the cardboard's free most of it i get from a dumpster by a by my church actually there's a business that throws a bunch of cardboard out and i'll just grab a bunch of cardboard and then different boxes and i'll cut them up and make little slits of cardboard to wrap these in so it's been working pretty well Hopefully there won't be any issues with damage, but it might be something to try. Uh, also sold a little manuals here, Mazda MX-3. These are 92, the service highlights and the body and electrical troubleshooting manual. These two are from the big manual buy. We've talked about it before. Spent 500 on all those manuals. We've made quite a bit of money. I know we had listed over $4,000 in manuals for our $500 buy. We're down to kind of the, the last little bit here. These ones sold for 16 bucks on sale. And they'll go out media mail as well. So that's all I got for you guys. We'll see you with what sells today, Thursday. Hey everyone, we're here with the sales for no, there's no bloopers, Linda. No one will watch that. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, we're here with the sales for Thursday from the eBay store. This is Linda, my wife. Say hi. Hi. A little nervous talking to people hard, you know. So anywho, we're gonna go over what sold on eBay. She pulled all the orders today, so we're gonna let her see if she remembers what some stuff sold for. So this is a Dalmatian security blanket or whatever it's like for babies they have different animals on them this one is a dalmatian one i usually get these for like 50 cents or a quarter at a garage sale they usually sell for around 10 to 15. remember what it sold for no. like 11 or 12 bucks i think she'll check me to see if i'm right uh we also sold some victoria's secret perfume little tiny one here it came in this nice fancy container which i've showed you guys before down to my last this is one of my last two left 
Got this whole thing in a big buy from storage unit guy, and this guy sold for 27 ships. So just a little perfume. I think you can ship them out first class if you put like no air transport or something on them, but you'll have to check on that on your own. We also sold a bullish swag, bullish, well, it's Polish, I know, I can't really pronounce it, but it's an owl. You can't really see it because I was smart and bell wrapped them up. This came in the big Polish pottery, done really well with this stuff, and it sold for how much, Linda? Uh, $38. Shipped. $38 shipped, and she found this one even though it was hidden, so good job for her. A couple things sold uh, last night overnight, so we'll go over those. These were like pretty much instant sales. An HP 62 ink, just one little tricolor ink. For whatever reason, this cartridge does well. This expired one sold for 17 bucks, I believe, 15, 16 or 17. 17. 17. And then two DVDs. These are feature films for families. I think they're like Christian based DVDs. They're brand new sealed. Uh, one sold for 12 bucks. And then one, so oh, this one wasn't sealed and it sold for 12. And this one was sealed and it sold for 18. Oh, looks like our daughter's crying, so my wife's probably going to go help her out. But she, she is probably going to be in the videos, guys. So if you want to see more of her, which I encourage you to do so, because um, it makes me happy when she's a part of it, put something in the comments. Tell us, hey, Linda, we want to see you. Something like that. I would appreciate it. And then maybe she'll come on more. Uh, but she's been doing a great job of pulling all the orders, too, which is really helpful. It um, looks like she's coming back with the baby, too. So you guys are lucky to see the baby. Hopefully you can see. There's Tori, Victoria. We call her Tori. She's a little grumpy right now, but she's adorable. And um, this is a Simpsons season eight, sold for like 18 or 19 shipped. Some of the later seasons and TV series do sell pretty well, so keep an eye out. Not all of the Simpsons are worth that much. These are two relays. I have no idea what they do or what they're for. They were, I guess the baby just spit up. They were just in a um, big box of like valves and stuff. And these two appear to be brand new and they sold for I think 14 or 15 shipped for two of them. They'll go first class. Sublime Gold CD. This one sold for, I think, $8 and some change or 7 and some change, something like that. It's just a single CD here. Goes medium mail. Another kind of cheaper medium mail item. This is a Dog of Flanders. It came in a big Hardy Boys lot. And if you know about the Hardy Boys books, this kind of looks similar with the blue here. But it wasn't a Hardy Boy and it sold for, I think, $8 shipped. Um, we also sold Death in a Prairie House. Frank Lloyd Wright in the Taliesin Murders or something. This little book sold for about eight bucks shipped as well. It sold on sale. Again, not the greatest media item, but it's only going to ship out for $2.89 and we'll make three or four bucks. We have a couple of cool items to show you guys too. This is a Larry Carlton. It's like a song book. My song book, it has the songs and kind of what notes to play and everything. This one, there wasn't many comps, but I took a best offer finally of 30 bucks. It's been up for about a year. So maybe that's not your model, but for me, I don't mind storing it. We got 30 bucks on that. It will go out media mail. We sold two Toyota manuals. These are Cressidas. I don't even know what a Toyota Cressida is, but um, these sold for, I think, 30 something shipped? 38. 38 shipped for these two. They're from the big manual buy. Yesterday, you probably saw that clip. We sold two Mazda ones for another 16. We still make money on these guys periodically, so definitely blessed with those. Here's something kind of unique. These are FAC, I think. Pyre nest. They're like um, scooter bags, I think is what they are. Moped bags. I um, got them. They just looked cool. I could tell they were old. Got them at a thrift store, I think for 15 bucks, and they sold for 100. Took a best offer of 105 shipped today. Had them at 135. I've had some offers around 70. I wanted at least 100. When the 105 came through, took it, and we jumped on it. They're really not heavy at all. It'll probably cost us, I'm thinking, 14, 15, 16 bucks to ship them, and um, we'll have plenty of room for profit there. Here's a scrub brand that can do well. This is a Koi Scrubs by Kathy Peterson, I think is what it is. Um, this one's kind of got kind of like a July 4th Americana theme with the red, white, and blue there. Um, this one sold for, I think, 16 or 17 bucks, 18 bucks. Um, it's going to go first class. I actually paid five bucks for this at a thrift store, so I paid up for it. It is one of the scrub brands that sometimes does a little better. And then the best sale of them all, this was the first sale. I actually sold overnight. It's always fun to wake up to a sale as well. This is a Panasonic. Yes, this is a nice one. This is a Panasonic PVGS250. Um, this one, I actually bought a charger for it. It actually comes in a, I put it in the, whoops. Just dropped the remote that goes with it, so hopefully it didn't break it. Comes with a little bag. Usually I don't include the bags unless they're in really good shape. Bought an aftermarket charger right here from online. This one sold for Linda. Uh, 
120 shipped. 120, and I know it sold, sold global shipping as well, which is kind of nice. So global shipping sales are awesome. We usually get, it seems like a couple a day, I would say, somewhere around one to two a day, maybe more. Uh, just which is awesome because that's extra sales you're reaching people and usually those buyers are willing to pay up a little bit so that's everything guys thank you so much for watching thank you linda and tori for joining us and we'll see you guys if anything else sells today and if not we'll see you in the next video take care Bye bye